Hi, we are on 6.6 .6 video B. We are solving um, equations with rational expressions and here we go. So we went through a bunch of them and we are almost finished, but I figured this would take us a little while. So like it did, um, I'm going to start. So remember the goal is solving um, an equation with the rational expressions. Get rid of the fraction it just makes life easier. Also, factor it before you do get rid of the fractions. So here we go. Now on this first one, I'm going to have 6 over. Now they both share a 5, so I'm going to take out a 5 and I get left there. Remember, I don't like subtraction problems, so I'm going to change this addition, make that its opposite. just makes life easier. So this one is going to be plus negative 1 over x minus 5 equals 4 over, and i got to factor this. Remember, you got to become pros at factoring. Because there's only a 1 here, it makes life easier, so the only way to get x squared is x times x. I'm going to look at this negative 10. I have to find two numbers when multiplied together give you negative 10, but when added together give you this middle term. So how about we do 5 times negative 2? That gives you negative 10. 5 plus a negative 2 gives you 3, and that is your middle term. Alrighty? But I actually, I made a boo-boo. It's a negative 3, and that's a positive 3. So I need the 5 to be negative. I need the 2 to be positive. I need the 5 to be negative, and I need the 2 to be positive. Then I would get a negative 3 out of it. I didn't notice that at first. So my 5 will be a negative 5 and my two will be a positive two. Now, when you're multiplying this by the big giant um, common denominator, this is what you would do. So I'm multiplying the whole thing. And I ran out of room over there, so I'm just gonna do it over here. Now remember, these, there's no other five, so my common denominator has to have a five in it. My common denominator also has to have an x plus two in it. OK, my common denominator also has to have an X minus five in it. That's just what it has to have. All righty. Um, all right. Okay, so sorry, I was, I have a daughter that's coming in from an airport, so I'm just, if somebody else, my other daughter's picking her up, so. All right, so first of all, I'm going to multiply this whole thing. So I'm going to multiply this whole thing right here by the first term. So what's going to happen is, this is the fun part, the 5 will cancel out the x plus 2 will cancel out. The only thing left is x minus 5. I'm going to take that x minus 5, and I'm going to multiply it by the 6. Okay. Now, so the 5s cancel. The x plus 2s cancel. The only thing left is x minus 5. I'm going to take that x minus 5, and I'm going to multiply it by the 6. Now I'm going to take that same thing. Let me change the color. And I'm going to multiply it, and I'm going to multiply it by this term here. So what happens is the 5 does not go away. So it's going to be plus 5. The x minus 5 does go away, but the x plus 2 doesn't. So I'm going to write that down as well. And then i got to multiply it by negative 1. Now, you guys, if you notice, I'm just writing them down. I'll take care of the math later. Now... I'm going to take this whole thing again and I'll multiply it by this one. So what you do is the x minus 5 goes away because x minus 5 divided by x minus 5 is 1, so it's gone. x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is 1, and I'm left with 5. So I'm going to take that 5, oops, and I'm going to multiply it by that 4. So now I'm going to do a bunch of work. And by the way, that should be an equal sign, not a plus sign. I left that off there. 
All right. So now you guys is a lot of work. We have to actually distribute everything. So this is going to give you 6x minus 30. And this here, negative 1 times a negative 5 is a negative 5. A negative 5 times x is a negative 5x. A negative 5 times a positive 2 is a negative 10. Equals 5 times 4 is 20. On one side of the equation, I want to get everything all added together. 6x minus 5x is x. Negative 30 plus a negative 10 is a negative 40. Equals 20. Now, um, I'm running out of room, so let me just do it over here. So now I'm going to add 40 to both sides, and I get x equals 60. Now, you guys, you should check. You have to check your answers. I know this is horrible. However, you should check your answers. Totally should check your answers. Very much so check your answers. Okay? Um, I'll leave you to check your answers. Oh, and I left one. I missed one. I missed a few of them. Good heavens. All right. Here's another one I missed, I guess. So on this one here, again, um, you need to factor it. I'm just going to keep going. That is a difference of squares. So that's going to be 2r plus 1 and 2r minus 1 equals, there's nothing I can do with this one, 2r plus 1 plus 3 over 2r minus 1. So again, you want to get rid of the fraction, so you're going to multiply this whole thing by the common denominator, and I have room over here. So they both have a 2r plus 1, and they both have a 2r minus 1. So that's what I'm going to multiply it by. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to multiply it by the first one. They Everything cancels out, and you're left with 8r. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to multiply it by this middle term. And I'm going to be left with, if you notice, the 2r, my, the 2R plus 1 divided by the 2R plus 1 is 1. So I'm going to be left with um, equals the 2R minus 1 times 3. Okay. Then I'm going to take, let's do a different color, this here and multiply it by here. And if you notice, the only thing left is the 2r plus 1, because the 2r minus 1s cancel out. So I'm left with 2r plus 1 times 3, because that's what's up here. Now, you do have to clean all this up. Now, it did say I have another page, but what the heck? Let's just go over here. Um, I'm left with 8r equals, distribute the 3, so that's going to be 6r minus 3, same thing on the other one, plus 6r plus 3. You're left with 8r equals um, 12r plus 0. I'm going to move over the 12r, and I get negative 4r equals 0. So r is going to equal 0. Now, you could plug it in there. You can check your answers, and I'm going to let you guys work on those ones to check your own answers, okay? Check your answers. All right. Um, I can tell it's going to work. So, okay, let's go to the next one. Oh, my. Here's another problem. Good heavens, they really try to work these out, but we can do it. Again, I don't like subtraction problems, so I'm going to change this to addition, make that its opposite. Here we go. I'm just going to work over here. So I have 1 over x minus 1 plus a negative 2 over x plus 3 equals, they share an x up on the top, so that's x plus 3, over, I'm going to factor the denominator. They both have an x, so x squared. I have a negative 3. I need two numbers when multiplied together give you negative 3, but when added together give you 2. So how about 3 times negative 1 gives you negative 3. 3 plus negative 1 gives you 2. That's your middle term. So it's going to be a positive 3 and a negative 1. So here we go. You're going to multiply this entire equation by... Whoops. 
x plus 3 and x minus three, 1. So here we go. You take this, you multiply it by the first term. If you notice the x minus 1's cancel out and you're left with x plus 3 times 1 because that's the numerator. Now you take that again and you multiply it by this one. So you get the x plus 3's cancel out and you're left with x minus 1 times a negative 2 because that's your numerator equals. Now, you take that whole thing again. Let's do this color. Let's do blue. And you multiply it by this last term. And if you notice this time, the denominators just cancel each other out. You get 1. And you're left with x times x plus 3. Now, you guys, this is a huge problem. You have to distribute everything. So this is going to give you x plus 3. This one here is going to give you this times this and this times this, that's going to give you a negative 2x. That's going to give you a positive 2. Storm, go lay down. Equals. And then you're going to multiply this. This is going to give you x squared plus 3x. Now, I'm going to combine all like terms over here. So I'm left with a negative x plus 5 equals x squared plus 3x. Now, you guys, I see a problem. Because I have an x squared, I can't solve for x like we normally do. I need to move everything to the other side of the equation because I might have to factor this. So I'm going to subtract the 5, and I'm going to add the x over. Add the x, subtract the 5. So I get 0 equals x squared plus 4x minus 5. Now, this is what you have to do. You have to now factor that. So you're going to end up with... 0 equals parenthesis, 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 parenthesis. The only way to get x squared is x times x. Now I have a negative 5, just like I did up here. i got to find two numbers when multiplied together give you negative 5, but when added together give you 4. How about the number 5 times a negative 1 gives you a negative 5? Five. 5 plus a negative 1 gives you 4. So I'm going to have a positive 5 and a negative 1. Now, you guys, we're not done yet. You've got to solve for x. So x, equal, sorry, x plus 5 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0, which means x is going to equal negative 5 or x is going to equal 1. I want you guys right now, check your answers, plug them into all the x's, see if one side equals the other side. Yes, it's a lot of work, but I have faith in you. I'm going to keep going. All right. Now, this is solving for variables, okay? I got only three more to go, and I'm running out of time. So um, my goal, they give you some variables. They want you to get s by itself. So what you're going to do is, these ones aren't so bad. Your goal is just to get the variables, whatever variable they're looking for. Um, that looks really weird. I'm sorry. That's supposed to be a plus sign. <laughs> okay. And then R. So I want to get S by itself. Before I can get S by itself, I've got to get rid of the R. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this side by R. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other. Now, because I multiplied by R, these cancel out. Now, what I'm left with is B, whoops, BR, whoops, what am I doing? It's not a fraction. We've had so many fractions, I'm in my head I have fractions. BR equals S plus T. Now, to get S by itself, I need to subtract T from both sides. Now, you cannot really add those together because it's just BR minus T equals S. And you're done. You've got S by itself. Let's move to the next one. This one here, they want you to solve for Y. Now, you can't get rid of Y, right? You can't get Y because it's in the denominator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this. Z over 1 equals X over um, X plus Y. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cross multiply for just a second. Or if you want, I can multiply the whole thing by the common denominator. Common denominator is xy. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to multiply it by this one. 
One goes into this x plus y, x plus y times z is z times x plus y. And I'm going to leave it like that, okay? Equals, multiply this, they cancel out, and I'm left with x over here. Now, I want to get x plus y by themselves. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to divide by z. And now I have x plus y equals x over z. Now what you need to do is, because I want to get y by itself, I'm going to minus x from both sides. So you're left with y equals x over z minus x. And there's your answer. y is by itself. One last problem, I believe. Oh, thank goodness. All right. Now this one here, I'm going to get rid of the um, common denominator. So by doing that, and they want actually... They want me to get z by them by itself. So um, I'm going to get z by itself. So let me just go ahead and do that now. And this is what you could do. I could move over the 1 over y minus the 1 over y. And I'm left with 2 over x minus 1 over y equals 1 over z. OK? So what you could do is you could take um, the approach of, which is not a pretty one. However, it is doable. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just go back like I originally was going to plan. I just think it's going to be easier. It'll make your life easier. We're going to do what we've always done. We're going to get rid of the fraction because the fraction is no fun. I'm going to multiply this whole thing by x, y, z. So I'm going to multiply this here, and x's go away. I'm left with 2y, z. I'm going to multiply this here. The y's cancel, and I'm left with x, z. I'm going to multiply these here. The z's cancel, and I'm left with a positive x, y. Now, because I'm looking for z, I want to put my z's together. So I'm going to minus the x, z. This is just one way of doing it. There are so many different ways to do this problem. So I'm left with 2yz minus xz equals xy. Remember, I want to get z by itself. Well, these two here share a z, so I'm going to take a z out. Okay, that means I factored it out. Now, um, I get z times 2y minus x equals xy. Remember, my goal is to get z by itself, so that means I'm going to have to divide by 2y minus x. And I'm going to divide this side by 2y minus x. So now I'm left with z equals x over y. I'm sorry, the numerator is x over y, and the denominator is 2y minus x. And we're finished. Oh my goodness. You guys have a great day. This is 6.6 .6 video B. Hope you guys learned something. Um, remember, check your answers. It takes a lot of time, but check your answers. Have a great night.